Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua, and I'm going to introduce you how to make a stopwatch in Python. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to see future videos on my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about programming countdown timer, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you how to make the stopwatch. For this program, you don't need to install anything with pip. Let's open Python from the Windows programs list. Click start. Python and then ideally Python. Let's open a new file to start programming. File menu, new file. Let's close the shell and let's maximize the Python programming window. Let me make the screen bigger so you can see better. Before we start programming, let me show you the final result. Here you can see the time, and the start button, the reset button, and the lap button. Let's start it. You can see that the time is counting up. Now let's stop it. Now you can see that there's a resume button. Let's click on resume. It, you can see that it is resumed. Let's stop it again. And now let's click on reset. You can see that it has gone back to zero, zero. Now let's start it again. And then let's lap it. You can see that there is the time that I lapped it at. Let's stop it and lap it as well. You can see that it has lapped this current time. I'll lap it again. You can keep lapping it. And if we reset it, it all goes away. And the start button comes back. Let's close this and let's close the shell. Now that I've shown you the final result, let's start programming the stopwatch. In this program, there are six steps. Step 1. Importing the modules. In this program, we will be using two modules, the tkinter module and the time module. To use them, we have to import them first. We are not going to use the full tkinter. Now, we are only going to use part of tkinter. So, we need to type from tkinter import and then type an asterisk and then type import time let's move on to step 2 creating a screen to create the screen we have to type root equals capital T T K open brackets, close brackets, enter, root dot configure, open brackets, background, equals open brackets, open quotation marks, black, close quotation marks, and close brackets, and close brackets again. So what this command does, it sets a background colour, so if you wanted another background colour, Replace black with whatever colour you want. Now let's add a title. Root dot title. Open brackets. Open quotation marks. Stopwatch. Replace stopwatch with whatever you want your title to be. Close quotation marks and close brackets. Enter. Now I'm going to set its size root dot geometry open brackets open quotation marks 980 by instead of typing by we type x 480 close quotation marks and close brackets let's move on to step 3 creating important variables
So we're going to need a variable called time elapsed one, time underscore elapsed two, time underscore elapsed three. So let's create them. Time underscore elapsed one equals zero. I'm going to set it to zero. Time underscore elapsed two. I'm going to set that to zero as well. And I'm going to do the same with three. Time underscore elapsed three equals zero. Now I'm also going to need two variables called time one and time two. So let's create them. Time one equals zero. I'm going to make time one and time two both zero. Time two equals zero as well. As well as these, I need more variables. So I'm going to call them i and j. i equals zero and j equals zero as well. Now let's move on to step four, creating the functions. First of all, I'm going to create a variable called create label. So let, to create it, we need to type define. Instead of typing define, we type def create underscore label open brackets text comma underscore x comma underscore y close brackets colon and then enter I'm going to define a variable called label so I'm going to create it label equals capital L label open brackets root comma text equals text comma the foreground is going to be white fg instead of foreground we type fg equals open quotation marks white close quotation marks so basically this color is what the writing is going to be and the background color is going to be black bg equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 10 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks and then close brackets and close brackets again press enter and type label dot place open brackets x equals underscore x comma y equals underscore y comma width equals 100 comma height equals 45 and then close brackets this is basically the label that's going to be everywhere this is the writing for everything now let's move on to our next function which is going to be called start so let's define it define start open brackets close brackets colon enter first of all I'm going to remove the start button and the resume button because when the timer starts we want to see a stop button to stop it so let's forget those other start buttons and resume buttons to do that type start underscore button dot place underscore forget open brackets close brackets and then do the same with the resume button resume underscore button dot place underscore forget open brackets close brackets enter now we can place the stop button type stop underscore button dot place open brackets 
x equals 20, comma, y equals 300, comma, width equals 300, comma, height equals 100. And then close brackets, enter. Now we have replaced all the buttons. Before we make the time count up, we actually need to make these global variables. To make them global variables, we have to type global space time underscore elapsed one, comma time underscore elapsed two, comma time underscore elapsed three, comma time one, comma we're also going to need a variable called self job, self underscore job, comma time two, let's press enter, time two equals integer, instead of typing integer, we type int, open brackets, time dot time, open brackets, close brackets, and then close brackets again. Now we have made time 2 an integer. Now we're going to make sure time 1 does not equal to time 2. So type if time 2 does not equal to, instead of typing does not equal to, we type exclamation mark equals if time 2 does not equal to time 1, colon enter time 1 equals time 2. Enter. So now we're going to create an if statement for if the seconds is over 59. So let's do that. If time underscore elapsed 1 is less than 59 colon enter time underscore elapsed 1 plus equals 1. So this command here adds 1 second to time elapsed 1 if it's below 59. Now we need to update the time so we need to type clock underscore frame dot config open brackets text equals open brackets string instead of typing string we type str open brackets time underscore elapsed three and then close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets the z fill command is basically making it two digits so if it's like one hour then it will show zero one instead of one and if it's something like 10 then it won't show any zeros except from the one in 10 now let's do the minutes plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed to close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus now let's do the seconds string open brackets time underscore elapsed one close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets and then close brackets again and close brackets again now we need to press enter and we need to go backspace then we need to continue the if statement else colon enter time underscore elapsed one equals zero 
this command makes time elapsed 1, 0 and I'm going to make time elapsed 2 add equals 1 so time underscore elapsed 2 plus equals 1 this command adds 1 to the minutes which is time elapsed 2 now let's move on to the time elapsed 2 is over 59 so basically if the minutes are under 59 so if time underscore elapsed 2 is less than 59 colon enter time underscore elapsed 2 plus equals 1 enter and clock underscore frame dot config open brackets text equals open brackets string open brackets time underscore elapsed 3 close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed to close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed one close brackets and then dot z fill open brackets to close brackets close brackets and close brackets again backspace else colon enter time underscore elapsed to equals zero and time underscore elapsed three will gain one time underscore elapsed three plus equals one now let's move on to if the hours time elapsed three gets over twenty four so if time underscore elapsed three is greater than or equal to twenty four colon enter time underscore elapsed one is zero and time underscore elapsed two equals zero and time underscore elapsed three equals zero as well so this basically resets the stopwatch after one whole day. Now that we've done this, we need to continue this by typing else, else colon enter, time underscore elapsed three plus equals one. So this is basically saying if it's not over 24, then it will add by one. And I also need to update the time. Clock underscore frame dot config. Open brackets text equals. Open brackets string. Open brackets time underscore elapsed three. Close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets comma plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string uh, open brackets time underscore elapsed to close brackets dot z fill open brackets to close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string 
open brackets, time underscore elapsed one, close brackets, dot z fill, open brackets to close brackets, close brackets, and close brackets again. Press enter, and then backspace four times, backspace, 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 and then type self underscore job equals root dot after open brackets one second instead of typing one second we type a thousand comma start close brackets and then press enter and backspace and make sure you can see the screen like this now we can move on to the next function which is going to be the stop function so let's define it define stop open brackets close brackets colon enter so for stop we need to make only self job a global variable so type global self underscore job now let's stop the timer so if self underscore job is not capital N none make sure none is spelled N O N E colon enter root dot after underscore cancel open brackets self underscore job close brackets enter and then type self underscore job equals capital N none and then press enter and then backspace now we want to remove the stop button and place the resume button stop underscore button dot place forget open brackets close brackets enter and then we need to place the resume button resume underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 20 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 and comma height equals 3 height equals 100 close brackets and now we have created the stop function backspace enter now let's move on to resume so let's define it define resume open brackets close brackets colon enter backspace now the resume function is basically the same as this start function so let's copy it let's copy it select everything inside the start function and then go to the edit menu and then click on copy and then go to the scroll bar again and then scroll down and then click on here and then go to edit and then select paste you can see that it has pasted the code over here underneath resume and that is where we need the code so let's continue so I'm going to create the next function which is going to be called clear this is going to be used inside the reset and the start function so we have to type define clear open brackets close brackets colon enter now let's make the global variables again global space time underscore elapsed one comma time underscore elapsed two comma time underscore elapsed three comma time one comma self underscore job comma 
time to. Now, we're also going to need the label. So you have to type label after a comma and then type comma i and then comma j because we're also going to need those as well. Now that we've made them all global variables, we can use them. Now you have to type try. This is going to be a loop. Try, stop, open brackets, close brackets, enter, backspace, except colon enter start open brackets close brackets enter stop open brackets close brackets enter backspace now let's make the text say zero zero so type clock underscore frame dot config open brackets text equals open quotation marks zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero close quotation marks and close brackets now it says zero zero when it clears now let's set everything to zero type time underscore elapsed one equals zero and time elapsed two equals zero And time underscore elapsed three to zero as well. Now we need to reset time one, time two, i and j. So we have to type time underscore one equals zero, time underscore two equals zero, enter i equals zero, enter and j equals zero. Now that we've reset them, we can continue. Wig equals root dot win foe underscore children. Open brackets, close brackets. For v in wig colon enter b dot place underscore forget open brackets close brackets and then we need to also forget the place of the resume button resume underscore button dot place underscore forget open brackets close brackets enter backspace now we've completed the loop, so let's place the buttons and the widgets first. So start underscore button dot place open brackets x equals twenty comma y equals three hundred comma width equals three hundred comma height equals 100 and then close brackets enter now let's move on to the lap button lap underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 660 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 comma height equals 100 close brackets now let's move on to the reset button reset underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 340 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 comma height equals 100 and then close brackets enter now let's do the clock frame which is basically the writing clock underscore frame dot place 
if in brackets x equals 200 comma y equals 50 comma width equals 600 comma height equals 200 and then close brackets now we've completed the clear function now let's move on to the final function which is going to be lap function so let's define it define lap open brackets close brackets colon enter so for the lap function we're going to need everything as global except the label so we're just going to be removing label from the list so we're going to type global space time underscore elapsed one comma time underscore elapsed two comma time underscore elapsed three comma time one comma self underscore job comma time two comma i comma j before we move on let me correct my spellings for self and now that we've done all the globals let's press enter and you can continue if i is less than 9 colon enter I'm going to create a label so we have to type create underscore label open brackets open brackets string open brackets time underscore elapsed 3 close brackets dot z fill open brackets 2 close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed two close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets plus open quotation marks colon and close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed one close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets and then close brackets again and then comma 20 plus open brackets 110 times instead of typing times you type the asterisk symbol i 110 times i close brackets comma 400 plus open brackets j times 50 close brackets and then close brackets again now let's continue enter backspace else colon enter j plus equals 1 enter and i equals 0 enter and then we need to do the create label thing again create underscore label open brackets open brackets string open brackets time underscore elapsed three close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed two close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus string open brackets time underscore elapsed one close brackets dot z fill open brackets two close brackets and then close brackets again comma 20 plus open brackets 110 
times i close brackets comma 400 plus open brackets j times 50 and then close brackets and close brackets again now let's move on enter backspace and then we type i plus equals 1 so I will increase by 1 and then we do backspace and make sure we can see now we finished all the functions now we can move on to the next step which is creating all the buttons and widgets so first of all I'm going to define clock frame so clock underscore frame equals capital L label open brackets text equals open quotation marks zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero close brackets so this is as you might have noticed this is the text at the top which shows the time now let's continue comma now let's set the background I'm going to set the background to black bg equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma and I'm going to set the foreground the writing to blue fg so instead of typing background and foreground we type bg and fg fg equals open quotation marks blue close quotation mark comma now we set the font font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 100 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks and close brackets and close brackets again now let's do the same with the start button start underscore button equals button make sure this make sure this button has capital B and after this you have to type an open bracket text equals open quotation marks I prefer start you can replace start with anything you like close quotation marks comma background equals open quotation marks I'm going to set it to green close quotation marks comma and I'm going to set the writing to black FD equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma command equals start so this is basically a command that starts the timer command equals start comma font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 50 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks and close brackets and close brackets again now let's move on to the stop button stop underscore button equals capital B button open brackets text equals open quotation marks stop I prefer stop you can replace stop with anything you like close quotation marks comma background equals red open quotation marks red close quotation marks comma foreground the writing equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma command equals stop so there's actually another command which stops it and let's do comma font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 50 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks and close brackets and close brackets again so now that we've done the start and stop button and the clock frame let's do the resume button 
resume underscore button equals capital B button open brackets text equals open quotation marks resume close quotation marks comma background equals open quotation marks going to set it to green close quotation marks comma fd equals open quotation marks black I want the writing to be black so I chose black command comma command equals start the reason I chose start is because there is no resume command but there is a start command it just starts the stopwatch again it does not start from the beginning but it just continues so we can use start over here command equals start comma font equals open quotation marks open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 50 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks close brackets and close brackets again enter now I'm going to move on to the lap button lap underscore button equals capital B button open brackets text equals open quotation marks lap you can replace this with, uh, with whatever you want close quotation marks comma bg equals yellow so type open quotation marks yellow close quotation marks comma I'm going to make the writing black again fd equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma and the command here is going to be lap because there is a command called lap command equals lap comma font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 50 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks close brackets and close brackets again enter now let's move on to the reset button reset underscore button equals capital B button open brackets text equals open quotation marks reset close quotation marks comma bg equals open quotation marks I'm going to set it to orange and I'm going to set its foreground color to black open quotation fd equals open quotation marks black close quotation marks comma command equals clear make sure to write command equals clear not command equals reset so after command equals clear comma font equals open brackets open quotation marks default close quotation marks comma 50 comma open quotation marks bold close quotation marks and close brackets and close brackets again let's press enter and enter again now let's move on to step 6 placing the buttons and the widgets first of all I'm going to place the start button start underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 20 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 
comma height equals 100 and then close brackets and then we can move on to the next button which is going to be the lap button lap underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 660 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 and height equals 100 and then close brackets now let's move on to the reset button reset underscore button dot place open brackets x equals 340 comma y equals 300 comma width equals 300 comma height equals 100 and then close brackets now let's move on to the clock frame which is basically the writing clock underscore frame dot place open brackets x equals 200 comma y equals 50 comma width equals 600 comma height equals 200 and then close brackets and before we finish off we need to do the main loop basically keeping the window open so type root dot main loop open brackets close brackets make sure there is no space in between main and loop now that we've done this let's save it file menu save I'm going to save it in my programs folder then I'm going to call it stopwatch capital S stopwatch you can call it whatever you like I'm going to click save now I'm going to run it run run module here you can see it you can see the title up here and you can see the writing over here in blue let's start the timer you can see that it is counting up let's stop it it's stopped let's resume it it's resuming let's stop it let's lap it let's resume it and lap it again and lap it one more time let's stop it and then let's reset it now you can see that everything is working let's close this and let's close the shell and now let's close the python programming window in my future videos i'll be posting tutorials to make weather apps and games i hope that this video is helpful for you if you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to create links for all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at 4 at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!